All right, Margaret, thank you. The city of New Orleans has lost a legend. Blaine Kern, also known as Mr. Mardi Gras, has died. WDSU's Gina Swanson looks back on his life and his influence on creating the carnival that we all know and love. He is Mr. Mardi Gras, the monarch of modern merriment in New Orleans who's reigned for decades. Known for his artistry, he built an unlikely empire that is uniquely New Orleans. Blaine Kern changed the face of Carnival. His legacy can be seen as long as the good times are rolling, especially on Fat Tuesday. Blaine Kern was born in Algiers Point, not far from the buildings that now bear his name. His father, Roy, was an artist and worked as a sign painter at the Port of New Orleans. His mother was ill, and as a way to pay her medical bills, Blaine and his father painted a hospital mural. The doctor was so impressed, he invited them to build Mardi Gras floats for his crew. That was back in 1932 for the crew of Allah, and Kern Studios was born. Kind of. It would still be more than a decade before Kern Studios was officially founded, and Allah was his first annual client. His designs got bigger and even more lavish, and so too did his client list, eventually inking deals with all the major crews and Carnival. His creations even caught the eye of Walt Disney, who offered him a job, but some good advice kept him home to grow his own Mardi Gras empire. If they could imagine it, Blaine Kern would build it. From the lighting, the stunning display of art, the double-decker and multi-unit floats, and of course, the animatronics. There is no detail that Blaine Kern did not consider. But even the King of Merriment went through a bitter public family feud, not long after he married his fourth wife, Holly, who's 49 years younger. In 2015, Blaine transferred his majority stake in Kern Studios to his son, Barry, putting the public's bat to bed and starting a new chapter in his life. The father of five has had several health scares in recent years, and at more than nine decades, it certainly was a life well lived. Blaine Kern is credited with making Mardi Gras more accessible to the masses. A master float builder and artisan, the grand visionary behind our modern day carnival. With his eccentric personality and ever the showman, Blaine Kern made the magic happen for generations. It's emotional because he, but he lived, he, he lived 93 incredible years all the way to the end. And today we're hearing from family and friends of Blaine Kern. They said he lived a full life filled with so much love. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian picks up our live team coverage from St. Charles Avenue. And Aubrey, I know you talked to his sons today. What did they say? Well, today Kern's son said their dad brought priceless moments out here to the parade route. Now also they did say what they learned from him was how to have a vision and also how to dream. So I'm sure you've seen the parades, of course, out here on St. Charles Avenue and seen how amazing they are when it comes to Blaine Kern. So I met his son, Brian Kern, for an interview right where their family legacy with Mardi Gras got started. Blaine Kern started in a small warehouse on the West Bank. He worked with smaller crews and then eventually the Super Crews, his son and the president of Endymion, both said that Mardi Gras, it would not be where it is today without him. They say there will never be anyone with as much energy and passion for Mardi Gras as Blaine Kern. I've gotten emotional. Uh, yeah, it's it's been, it's it's tough. I mean, but he lived a good life. He, he My dad traveled the world over. Um, he did what he wanted when he wanted to. He loved to fish. He wasn't able to fish as often as he uh, used to. But when I was a kid, we every weekend we were out fishing in Barataria Bay, catching uh, redfish, trout, flounder, living off the land down there. And uh, I, I'd like to think that he's up in heaven now, and that's probably with his, his father and they're fishing now. As long as you've known that man, or as long as I've known him, you just never think something like that's going to happen. He was larger than life. He, uh, he, he never met a stranger. You know, he, he walked in a room and he just made it magical. And, and I tell people all the time what Walt Disney was for Disneyland and Disney World. Blaine Kern was the same thing for New Orleans and Mardi Gras. 
So that was Dan Kelly with the crew of Endymion. He also told me a very inspiring and pretty amazing story about how Kern designed one of their floats. I'll have that story coming up on WDSU News at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you. Mayor LaToya Cantrell tweeted about Kern's impacts here in New Orleans. She said, quote, generations of people have been touched by the magic of Mr. Mardi Gras. Impossible to overstate his contribution to our carnival, to our culture, and to our city. He did it his own way until the very end, and our city was better, bigger, and more beautiful for his efforts, end quote. Also, Governor John Bell Edwards said this, to say that Blaine Kern revolutionized Mardi Gras would be an understatement. Blaine made Louisiana synonymous with Mardi Gras, and he will always be remembered for his contributions to Carnival and to our state.